everybody, this is a video for a new product coming out. Uh, I have a prototype here for the Lightspeed bag. Um, there's going to be a Kickstarter coming out soon. You can check it out, lightspeedbag.com. Um, they sent me this, their prototype, so I could test it out for them. Right over you, you know, I did a review video for them, and I'm going to put it up for you guys so you guys can, uh, can see what you can do with this product. This is specifically for home use, so it's made for. Like right now I'm in my room, this is my actual room, it's a mess right now, but to do the video I wanted to show you guys how it would work if you actually got something like this. And uh, you know, in my room I have a pull-up bar, so you guys can see I have my pull-up bar, and now like because I have this thing, I can get like a little workout in at home in my own room if I'm ever, you know, if I was running late one day, I couldn't make it to the gym or anything like that. Um, this is very similar to like a reflex bag in my opinion. I think it's similar. It's, it's extremely similar to that. The only difference is that if, because it's from the ceiling instead of the ground, um, I feel like I don't have to wait as long as like when I was working with a reflex bag. When I hit it, you know, it swings down, it comes back. This I hit, it swings, you know, it, it comes up and then it comes back. So it's a little faster coming back to you in my opinion. I don't have to worry about hitting too hard and shaking a base. So if I hit it, really hard it hits my ceiling but then it just that's it it stays there whereas with like a reflex bag unless you put like an extra weight on it when i'm hitting really hard the whole thing shakes and it kind of throws everything off i gotta go around it you know i gotta work around the stick that's in the middle because this is up in the ceiling i can practice moving underneath it and things like that so i can even if i want to just use it to shadow box and slip you know i can come here and I can just use it to work getting underneath. Um, as far as the bag itself, it's very easy to install. This pole here that you see kind of just screws in. So I, can, I don't have to just leave it here once I'm done. When I'm done with the video, I'll show you how easy it is. I'm just gonna unscrew it and put it away. So uh, I'm gonna just show you how it works a little bit. Now, you can do a few different things with this. For me personally, I think this is really, really good for beginners. If you wanna practice getting a little bit better um, like with your accuracy, you want to practice your punching, you know, I want to work on my jab. I can kind of just stay away, throw a jab, and I don't have to, I can keep my distance and not worry about it hitting me. And if it does hit you, it's not a big deal. It's, it doesn't really hurt if it hits you. So if I hit it real hard and it comes back and smacks me, it's not going to hurt, you know, whereas when we're practicing with like a maze bag, if I miss and it hits me, it hurts because the maze bags are heavy, right? So I can even practice slipping with this. I'll show you that in a second. So if I want, I can be back here, practice my jab, get my rhythm, rhythm. If I want to practice my cross, I want to practice my hook, right? So I can get every all the work here done that I pretty much need as far as practicing my punches. If, even if I want to, I can throw uppercuts. I can be here. So I can practice my uppercuts also. Um, when he sent it to me, he sent it to me with these uh, gloves. They're kind of like hand wrap gloves. So for this kind of bag, that's pretty much all you would need. I think they're very helpful that they come with that. You know, you could always hit it with just your hands, but after a while, you know, if you're not used to it, your hands might get a little, you know, rough. The skin might start to uh, kind of scratch a little bit, peel a little bit. So these come in very handy. They're very comfortable. They fit very nice. Um, so, you know, it's easy to kind of keep, keep working and not have to really worry about your hands getting too scratched up or anything like that. Now, uh, you can work your combos with this. The only thing is just like a reflex bag, you're kind of at the mercy of the bag as far as how fast I can punch. So, if I want to practice like my one, two, three. So, you see how I have to punch and try to time the bag, whereas from here, I can punch a lot faster than that. So again, it's good just to practice your combos, to get comfortable with your act, you know, being accurate. You see, I missed one of my punches. I have to stop and actually watch the bag. So now, if I want to also, I can practice my blocking. So you know how we practice doing that sit? I showed you guys, you move, move, sit, and use your hands here, here. So I can practice coming off the slip, block up, come back up with the crunch. Uh, we do like an overhand, right? Like I showed, you know, we're here, we slip, pop, come back over. Um, other things, like, and then you can practice the, the uppercuts, like I said. 
Um, another thing that I kind of was playing around with, um, they were saying you can practice like speed bag work with it, and you're actually you can. If I step in, so what the bag is like touching me, when I'm hitting it here, the bag comes back a lot faster. It can simulate like a speed bag. It's not going to be as fast, but if I'm coming in, it's about the same tempo as a speed bag. Um, it's just that I can't go much faster than this. But if you don't have a speed bag, you can still kind of get this working. And you see how I'm mixing up one hand only. Here I can move around a little bit with it because of the way the bag works. I can keep doing this and you see I can move around a little bit. I don't have to just stand in one spot, whereas like with the speed bag I kind of do a little bit. If I want to I can jump. Get a little bit of a bounce to keep kind of getting that working. That's something you'd have to practice. It's a little different with the speed bag, but, but that's about it. And uh, the other thing is if you can punch a lot faster than, so, you know, like I was punching faster before. So I get used to this and I, I want to go a little faster than this. I can always come away, do some shadow boxing, maybe slip under the bag a few times and come back and just work a few punches to simulate more like a fight where maybe I'm feeling somebody out. Move in, get a block. So I can kind of mix it up also. So if you can punch a lot faster and you feel comfortable punching faster where you kind of know what you're doing, you can add that in and you see me, I was going underneath it, using it to, as something for me to kind of go under. So that's another thing where I did the slip rope training. You can add that into this also. So I think it's really good. You know, uh, again, you see I'm kind of breathing heavy a little bit, moving around like that. I can move a lot faster than this can, but I can still do my speed work and just use this to add in so I can do something at home. And so I'll show you guys here. I'm gonna turn it, and this is, that's it. So I do my workout, unscrew it, put it away when I'm ready to go, come back, just kind of try to line up the hole. Once you line it up, twist it back on, make sure it's nice and tight, and I'm ready to go. Very easy to use, very inexpensive, awesome price, awesome product, I really like this. Again, lightspeedbag.com. Um, they're gonna be doing the Kickstarter soon, so be on the lookout for that. And, you know, I'll put I'll definitely put up some videos with this, you know, for you guys if you're interested. You know, um, if, if a lot of you like this, if a lot of you get this bag, we'll go ahead and put up some videos so that you guys can see what to do with this at home. So, thanks for watching, guys. As always, God bless. Please subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching.